Hello everyone. This is Fahad Ali Khan. Welcome to another session of Virtual Classroom. In today's session, we'll talk about the formula to find the area and volume of three-dimensional geometrical figures. I'll start with cube. We all know very well that cube is a six identical face geometrical figure where all the dimensions are equal. If I consider this dimension as length, this one as breadth, and this vertical one is height, then being identical, I can take L and B and H same. And if I intend to calculate the total surface area, then I simply have to find the area of one of the face by multiplying length and width or height, which gives me L square. As it has six faces, so multiply this L square with six and we get total surface area six L square. Similarly, if I intend to calculate the volume, we'll be using the formula length into breadth into height, where breadth and height can be replaced as L and the total volume comes out as L cube. If I want to calculate the formula for total surface area of cube and volume, then first I have to go through with the figure. Now, the length is taken as L, the breadth as B and height as H. A cuboid is such a figure where there are two parallel sides, two parallel faces as two parallel sides, then um, there are identical front and back, identical top and bottom. Now I have to calculate area of each figure, each face, and then multiply it with two. When I'll sum them up, I'll get the total surface area. So it goes like this, that when I calculate length and breadth, I get the area of base or the top. Similarly, when I multiply base and height, I get area of either front or back. Similarly, when I multiply height with length, I get area of uh, this, this side basically. Uh, this is one of the side. So when I sum them up and multiply, with, uh, multiply this by two, I get the total surface area. To find the volume, I'll simply go with the same relation that is length into breadth into height, and this will result into the volume of cuboid. Now if we talk about cylinder, then there are various options linked or related to cylinder. To find the volume of cylinder, it goes the same way that if I want the formula for volume, it's base area into height. So base is actually circular, height is h. So the formula to find the area of circle is pi r square. When I multiply that with height h, I get the formula for volume, which is pi r square h. If I want to find the total surface area, for example, a cold ring can, which is a closed cylinder, then the area of circle at the top, pi r square, area of circle at the bottom, again pi r square, and the curved surface area, 2 pi r h are supposed to be added, which, re which will result into 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. If it's an open top cylinder, just like a glass, then the area of top is not supposed to be considered. And we will have only the bottom, which is pi r square, and the curved surface area, that is 2 pi r h, to be added. Results into pi r square plus 2 pi r h. If I'm looking to find the area of hollow part, only the curved part. I mean, if there is a hollow cylinder and uh, I want to find the area of that curved part, just like a tissue roll, then the area of curved surface area, uh, the area of curved part will be taken as 2 pi r h. If I want to find the volume and surface area of cone, then here I have uh, a cone drawn. Uh, where R is the radius of cylinder at the bottom. Uh, the vertical one is taken as height, whereas the slant height is considered as L. To find the volume, the formula is one upon three pi r square h. Whereas to find the total surface area of a closed cone, we'll go with the curved surface area, which is pi r L, and the bottom, which is circular, uh, that is pi r square. Summing them up, I'll get the total surface area. To find the curved surface area, I'll only consider the curved surface area which is pi r l and that's it.
moving on to sphere a sphere is again a three dimensional figure where the total surface area can be given as can be figured out using 4 pi r square and the volume can be calculated using the relation 4 upon 3 pi r cube next is a pyramid we are very much familiar with the pyramids um, through some historical event uh, but at the moment if I intend to find the formula uh, for the volume and surface area I would go with some uh, facts related to the geometrical figure the formula to find the volume is 1 upon 3 into base area into height now height is supposed to be vertical it's not supposed to be the inclined one base area it may vary we can see a rectangle at the moment it could be a square base it could be a triangular base it could be hexagonal or any particular geometrical figure involved so simply find the area of engage the uh, base area of whatever geometrical figure is given to you and multiply that with height multiply that further with 1 over 3 and here you get the volume of your given geometrical uh, uh, your given per, uh, pyramid actually to find the total surface area we will sum up the areas of all the faces a pyramid holds a base and a number of sides depending on uh, the type of a base it, it consists of at the moment it has four triangular faces and one rectangular face so I have to find the area of all these five faces and summing them up I'll get I'll get the total surface area of this particular pyramid last but not the least I have prism which is um, which can easily be determined I mean the formula for prism can easily be uh, figured out by finding the area of cross section and then multiplying it with height see at the moment I have a prism which is uh, seen in a horizontal position so this can be taken as length rather height but it makes no difference to the general formula so I have height h and a triangle as cross section I can have any geometrical figure that can be used as cross section and then I multiply this cross sectional area with the height or length I get the volume of this prism to find the total surface area I'll go with the same logic I tried in prism uh, in pyramid actually where I'll be calculating the uh, area of two triangles and then here I have three rect rectangular faces uh, whose area when added to the area of triangles will give me the total surface area of this prism I hope this little video has helped you in getting the basic concept about the shape of these geometrical figures in recognizing the formulas and I hope uh, it might help you in solving a number of questions number of problems so thanks for watching and keep sharing